and welcome back to Kirby's Dreamland 1. Yay, we're almost done, but the final trial still awaits us, and by final trial I mean rinse and repeat levels. <laughs> it's kind of a Kirby thing. No, it's not a Kirby thing, actually. Um, it's more of a Zelda thing, actually. I hate this part. I really do. Um, oh, screw you, Gordo. Um, uh, I, I don't know what I did there, but okay, I'll take it. <laughs> it's more Zelda having to repeat little vignette areas based on other games. This blip dude again. Um, yeah, basically, this part, this whole section is cut out of the, uh, the, the Spring Breeze. Uh, in Spring Breeze, after the initial fights, after the first, like, three levels, you immediately go to Stage 4 Mount DVD, and just immediately get to a hallway with a door, and then you, like, go in and fight DVD. Uh, so yeah, that's actually a major difference in the, from the original. Yeah, you can't actually refight, you have to actually fight every boss over again. To be fair, this is actually really easy. <laughs> Most of the bosses in this game are not difficult. I'm just playing badly because I haven't played this game in a long time. I'm used to later Kirby controls. This game has kind of a different feel. It's a little bit floatier, I'd say. It's actually funny to think about Kirby being floaty because, well, he's just a pink puffball that floats. Of course, he's gonna be floaty. Um, what else can I talk about trivia wise? And the Game Boy was a really cool system in a lot of ways. I wish I had one. Still, I got rid of it. it sucks, I know. Should have kept it. But I think it was for charity, so I don't feel bad. <laughs> um, it wasn't just like I sold it for money, but I think I gave it away. Yay, if you're doing good things, but... Oh, snap. Get out of here, Fanto. I don't know if you're actually a Fanto, or if that was intentional, but I'll call you Fanto anyway, because I want to. Um, isn't Fanto just like the scariest thing in a Mario game? Like, yo, know, people always talk about the Angry Sun, but the Angry Sun's got nothing on Fanto. And I, just, I intentionally kind of wanted to die there because I had like no health anyway. Um, plus, this little section was so easy. Um, I have so many games I want to let's play, but I'm trying to space them out properly. Like, for example, like, why am I playing Dreamland? Just to fill space, basically. No special reason. Um, yeah, because uh, basically I thought Sonic Adventure would take longer, but it didn't. And I also thought Wind Waker would take a short amount of time and it didn't. So, just to basically spread it out a little bit. Kirby. Uh, so I don't have Squeak Squad in eShop, so I wouldn't be able to Let's Play it. I would Let's Play Squeak Squad in a heartbeat. Um, it's my fa it was like my first mainstream Kirby game. My very first Kirby game, and a lot I'll probably get a lot of interesting comments about this, if I get any comments at all, because I'm just starting out on YouTube and thus I don't get a lot of comments in the first place. Long story short, one of my first Kirby games was actually Kirby's Air Ride. <laughs> no kidding. Yeah, that was not a good place to start, I know, but I actually loved the game as a kid just because it was my first, it was, it was novel, I guess. It lacked thrills, obviously, but it, for when you're like 10, it seems a lot cooler than it actually is. No, wait, I would've been 8. <laughs> I would've been 8 because it was the same year as Mario Party 5. That was 2003, if I'm not mistaken. Um, maybe I would've been 9, but anyway, it was a long time ago when I first played Mario Party uh, 5 and also Kirby. Play them around the same time, got them in the same year. Um, he's gonna die, isn't he? Oh, well, anyway, that still works. Drop a dude. It's funny how many enemies return, except that blimp guy. <laughs> Lolo and Lala don't really come back very much either, to be fair. But Krakow is like in every Kirby game. There's even an Epic Yarn. I need to play Epic Yarn too. Ha, we are at the final challenge. DDD's got a buttload of health. Um, it's just basically DDD though. I mean, if you know how to fight DDD in another game, you know how to fight him in this game. 
It's just a matter of can't, how good are you without power ups, actually. My strat in uh, the remake is actually really hilarious. I just kind of spam. <laughs> uh, you saw how I played Adventure. I don't play it that much differently. I like to do that strategy, where I just kind of spam ranged attacks on DD. Uh, but yeah, Squeak Squad back on topic. Squeak Squad is one of my favorite Kirby games just because it was one of my first. Most people hate Squeak Squad, like, with fiery passion. But it was my first Kirby, like, other than Air Right, so of course I would like it a lot more than the average gamer. Um, the problem that I have with Fighting DD in this game is just because it's it looks weird. <laughs> if you want to put it that way, it just looks a bit off, I guess? His animations don't telegraph themselves quite as well. Uh, that attacks in Smash, you probably recognize- Ow, that was dumb. Uh, ooh, I'm dead. Yeah, I was going to give it half health anyway, so that was too unexpected. So, let's try that again. DDD, round two. Uh, I do like how they've made the Smash Bros. moves a little more accurate in, in uh, the new game. I think it's a little more accurate at least. Also, the stars just appear really fast in this game, so you gotta really be on the ball. I'm just getting in the corner and getting crushed, so that sucks. I'm gonna die again, just intentionally, just because I got such a horrible start. Also, one problem is because in Superstar, you have like screen wrapping, <laughs> that's the thing. Um, you have more room to dodge. You have one screen to dodge, and in Superstar, you have like equivalent of two screens by comparison, because it's like it's a bigger arena. It's more rectangular than square. Just because screen size, 4x3. Um, playing on the defensive. Ooh. Uh, he has to get his hammer to not land right at the edge of the screen. But that's easier said than done. Also, if you think I'm sucking at this. Remember what I said about Dreamland 2? Yeah, to so find Dreamland 2, I absolutely am horrible at. It took me forever to finish Dreamland 2 just because I sucked so badly at the final boss. And once I killed DD successfully, not killed because he still lives every game, then I had problems with the actual final boss of the game. This is a whole story in itself. Basically, I would get, had to do that like 10 times. I'm pretty sure I had to fight DDD like 10 times just because I kept losing at the final boss about 10 times. Dreamland 2 is like the only time where I actually legitimately was inclined to rage quit a Kirby game. Um, as strange as that sounds, but for some reason I thought that game was so frustrating compared to most Kirby games. So it's like, okay, if I were to do a quest of the day kind of thing more routinely, my quest of the day today would be. If you played Kirby's Dream Land 2, was it actually challenging for you, or am I just horrible at old school Kirby games? <laughs> um, yeah, because obviously this isn't really good evidence for me being good at old school Kirby games. Um, die, DD, get out of here. So we kick him out of his own castle. Uh, wow, I took out an entire turret from that. <laughs> Five stars, and do a little dance, and... Oh wow, I totally just quoted someone. <laughs> uh, uh, don't sue me. <laughs> I don't think Let's Players get to sue each other for quotes, actually. I don't know why. Okay, so yeah, uh, Super Mario Sunshine. One Let's Player would always say, do a little dance and shine whenever clicking the shine sprite, so that's what. What? When I say do a little dance, it's like, oh wait, I'm referencing an another LP, aren't I? <laughs> um, Master Sakurai, because they, fun fact, they could even cram whole names onto this back in the day. Sunday Rain. Somehow I don't think that's actually the name. <laughs> uh, a lot of people went by aliases back in the day. Oddly enough, a lot of people use aliases in this era of video gaming. It's kind of one of those weird things that doesn't make any sense. Special thanks to Bubby. I don't know who Bubby is. Or Cypher. Cypher! Uh... Yeah. 
I was actually gonna cite Metal Gear come to think of it. Actually, that Metal Gear, oddly enough, is one of the most iconic examples because none of the cast went by their real names except David Hayter. Um, because of, I think, issues with the Screen Actors Guild and also just because they thought Metal Gear Solid would be bad so they didn't want their actual names attached to it, potentially. By 2, everything was smoothed over, plus the Metal Gear 1 was popular. So it's like, hey, oh, yeah, we'll go by real names. Now we need a little dance. Or is that in uh, the other version? I'm thinking of Superstar where he does a little dance. Uh, he doesn't dance in this version, that sucks. I don't know why DD has fish, by the way. Good job. Press up A and select on the top screen to start a new adventure. Good luck. Up A and select. Um, and I can't. Not, no buttons. Are, oh, what? Oh, that's cute, actually. <laughs> He's padding, like, oh, I'll get you next time. That actually brings up the point that DD is a villain in this game. He normally isn't a villain. And actually, I can't push anything. No buttons are working right now. So, that's it for Kirby's Dreamland. Wow, that was short. I could easily done that in one video if I wanted to, but hey, I wanted to break it up. Um... Home. Uh, I'm trying to remember how this game works because it's a little bit dodgy. Um, if a set actually kicks you back to the main menu or to the uh, oh crud, <laughs> I don't know how to do this. But anyway, I forgot to actually show something over here. You can actually see the original box art. Two zooms. Um, also, it actually is using, um, classic controller, I mean, we have a control scheme, I'm using a classic controller, so A is zoom, uh, B is close, and X is fr front. Kirby to the rescue, Dream Land is in peril, an evil king has stolen the magical, the magic twinkle stars, if they're not covered, the people of Dream Land could starve. Meet Kirby, a roly-poly little hero, as he runs, jumps, and floats, Swims in search of treasure twinkle stars. He'll puff his way through castles and caves, dungeons and forests. In his path are many wicked and greedy enemies, but Kirby has a special way to defeat them. It's non stop action all the way to the top of Mount DD. So, yeah, this is what the original box art would have actually looked like. Um, I remember these old Game Boy boxes, they're actually pretty cool. Um, wish I had more. I only have one box Game Boy game, and that's Golden Sun. Um, there's a way to actually reset a game. Uh, but I'm trying to remember how to do it. Because I want to show off extra mode. Uh... <laughs> okay, that didn't work. Uh... Is that it? I think I just hit the reset key. But anyway... I, I'm stupid. Up, A, select. Extra game! Haha! You actually do the extra game from the beginning. I just didn't want to do it. So I just want to go through extra mode just real quick. Just show off. Uh, and yeah, I don't actually know what's different in this mode. <laughs> now that I think about it, it looks exactly the same to me. Uh, I don't remember that flying guy being there, but oh well. Oh, that guy's new! Yeah, new enemies. Um, probably stronger enemies later on. I took double damage from that guy, didn't I? That bird guy. Yeah, so this is actually a little bit more challenging. A lot of people start on extra mode just because the game is sh really short anyway. But yeah, that's all I need to show, I think. Or want to show, I should say. So yeah. Thank you for watching this was Let's Play of Kirby's Dreamland, and I'll see you for my next adventure, which is actually going to be a really big project that'll probably last until summer. So yes, look forward to that.